Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out my video. I have a piece of gear review today I'm very excited about. It is the Pro Media Gear L Bracket made specifically for the Canon EOS R camera, which I just picked up about a week ago. I'm very excited about it. I'm making the move from Sony to Canon, uh, but there was an issue with this camera when it came to L brackets that was almost a deal breaker and almost made me regret the switch. But I have a video about the switch, why I did it, all the reasons why, what I've encountered. You can check that out up there. I'll leave it in the description somewhere in case you wanna know that. But I wanna talk about L brackets um, as I'm a real estate interior and architectural shooter. So L brackets and gear tripod heads are absolutely crucial. And the Sony a7 III, which I was shooting with, I used a small rig bracket, which was phenomenal. I have a review for that. You can check that out up there. Um, and it is the best L bracket I ever owned, at least up to that point. Phenomenal L bracket, but when I made the move from Sony to Canon, there was a problem. I ordered the small rig right away, but what I figured out too late, about a day or two before it arrived, was that Canon has these awesome articulating pull-out screens that swing out and swing up. The problem is when you put an L bracket on that and the vertical plate is right here, you can swing the screen out, but you cannot tilt it up whatsoever. It will not budge. That is a deal breaker. That is a major problem when you're a real estate interior and architectural photographer. Because my camera height is usually about chest level, maybe a little bit lower. And if I can't tilt that screen up, there is no way I'm gonna be squatting up and down 200 times a day to look at the screen. That is, that is not acceptable. So that was a problem. How am I gonna get around this? I searched for L brackets. Small rig, they, like a lot of the L brackets, they do allow you to, to you know, extend it so you can put cables in and things like that. But that only allowed me to tilt the screen up a little bit. It didn't allow me to really you know, take advantage of you know, the whole screen, swinging it out and tilting it up. So I went with the Pro Media Gear bracket and they have this great design that they made for the EOS R L bracket. So give me a second here and I'm gonna attach this and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, here we go. So you attach it with this little Allen wrench. It's on there now. And the thing that makes this design genius is that they move the vertical bracket forward so that the side here where all the cables and all the ports are is actually clear. Okay, so you put this in and you can see that there's a gap there and you can see it actually comes forward. So you can flip the screen out all the way out and tilt it all the way up like that and that is phenomenal and I've already been on a job or two where I've needed that and and that was great so they solved that problem with that design okay so you know you take it out if you want to go vertical you put it in like that and the thing I like about it is that I, I actually like it forward a little bit because it does sort of center the camera and the lens um, a little bit better when it's like that. And I can also flip the screen out like that. And there's enough room actually without having to extend the plate to get cables and cords and things like that in there. If I needed to, I could extend it, but I'm not sure if I'll have to. So that is fantastic. I love it. They did a great job. The only issue I can see with this potentially happening for some people with, because the vertical plate is set forward a little bit. It covers up part of the lens. Now I'm using the 16 to 35 F4 with um, the mount adapter. So the stabilizer button, the autofocus, manual focus button are forward enough. If you were using, let's say, um, I don't know, a wide angle prime or a 50 millimeter prime, and you wanted to get to the autofocus, manual focus button, it, it might be a little bit behind this vertical plate right here. And that could be an issue. I mean, there's enough of a gap. You can still get to it. You can put your hand right up here and get to it. So it, it's not a big deal or even down here if you had to. So it's not like it's flush up against the lens. That's the only little nitpick I could see, but it solves the problem by just moving the, the vertical uh, plate forward. And that is fantastic. Now, it is a little bit more expensive. Pro Media Gear makes fantastic equipment. I've had one of their L brackets before. Um, it's definitely more expensive than the small rig, 
but it solves the problem completely. And I've been on a couple of jobs where I've needed to do that and it's worked beautifully. So I definitely recommend it. Um, so I hope that helps. The Canon cameras with these tilt out articulating screens, if an L bracket and a gear tripod head are absolutely crucial like they are for me, this is the one that I would go with. So give me a thumbs up if this helped you. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my links below, websites. Uh, buy me a coffee link. Buy me uh, more than a coffee. Buy me a couple coffees. I don't know. Just help support my channel. That would be awesome. Uh, you know the routine by now. Subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. But until I talk to you later, I hope you have a great day. Keep living the dream and taking pictures. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.